Xbox Game Pass gives us access to over 400 games and the amount of value on offer is just staggering. If you're like me, the idea of scrolling through the endless library of games on Xbox Game Pass is both exciting and a bit overwhelming. That is why today we will be covering 20 incredible Xbox Game Pass games you need to play this August. This is a new series, so every month I'll be back with a fresh list of games from the big AAA heavy hitters to those hidden indie gems you might have missed. With that in mind, my name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation. Subscribe for more Xbox content every single day and let's dive right in. Let's kick things off with a true classic that really does hold a special place in my heart and that is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I remember playing these games as a kid and let me tell you, revisiting them in the remastered collection is a blast of nostalgia. The trilogy includes the first three games in the iconic series but they've been completely rebuilt from the ground up with stunning new graphics and smoother controls. What's great about these games is that they're just as challenging as you remember, maybe even more so. The platforming is very tight, the levels are creatively designed, and the sheer joy of collecting every last Wumpa fruit or nailing the perfect time trial is as satisfying as ever. Whether you're a veteran who just wants to relive those early days, or a newcomer that's curious about why this orange marsupial is so beloved, the Insane Trilogy is just a must play. Next, we've got Neon White, a game that's as stylish as it is fast paced. I didn't know what to expect going into this one, but man, did it blow me away. Imagine a sort of first person shooter where speedrunning meets card based mechanics and you've really got the gist of it. You play as an assassin from hell, trying to earn your way back into heaven and each level challenges you to blaze through with precision and speed. You may be asking what is the kicker to this? Well, your weapons are actually cards that you can use or discard for special moves like double jumps or dashes. It's such a unique blend of genres and once you get the hang of it, you'll be absolutely hooked. There's something so satisfying about perfecting your run, shaving off seconds of your time and climbing those global leaderboards. This game has got a ton of style, substance and enough replayability to keep you coming back for more. And then there's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, a game that needs absolutely no introduction, but let's break it down anyway. This is the latest installment in the rebooted Modern Warfare series, and while the campaign might not be the strongest, the multiplayer is where it really shines. The gunplay is tight as to be expected, and the variety of modes mean there's always something for every type of player. I've sunk countless hours into the multiplayer myself and with the constant updates and new maps it always keeps it feeling fresh. If you're looking for that classic Call of Duty experience with some cool modern twists then Modern Warfare 3 is where it's at. Now let's talk about some of the underrated gems that deserve your attention starting with the Xbox exclusive Rise Son of Rome. This game was a bit of a sleeper hit when it launched alongside the Xbox One but if you missed it back then now's the perfect time to dive in. You play as Marius Titus, a Roman soldier out for revenge in a beautifully realized version of ancient Rome. What drew me in about this game at the time was the game's cinematic quality. The visuals are still stunning today and the combat while straightforward is very satisfying. The executions are visceral and each swing of your sword really does feel impactful. The story definitely isn't the longest, but is a gripping tale of betrayal and vengeance that really had me hooked from start to finish. If you're a fan of historical settings or just love a good action game with a compelling story, Rise is a gem you shouldn't pass up. On the lighter side of things, we've got Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Now, I grew up watching a lot of Nickelodeon back in the day, so getting to play as characters like SpongeBob, Aang and even Garfield is certainly a blast from the past. This game is clearly inspired by Super Smash Bros, but it's got its own charm and a roster full of nostalgia. What I love about it is the attention to detail, as each character's moves are packed with references to their shows, and the stages are designed with the same care and attention. It's the kind of game that's perfect for couch co-op with friends, or diving into online matches if you're feeling competitive. Whether you're here for just the nostalgia or just love a good brawler, All-Star Brawl 2 definitely delivers some chaotic fun in spades. If you're in the mood for something more eerie, Still Wakes the Deep is the game for you. This horror game is all about atmosphere. There's no horde of zombies chasing you, no sudden jump scares every five minutes. Instead, it's set on an isolated oil rig in the middle of the ocean, where something sinister lurks in the shadows. 
The isolation and claustrophobia of the setting are what make this game so tense. As you explore the dark creaking corridors, the sense of dread definitely builds and every sound will put you on edge. The focus on psychological horror over cheap thrills is really what sets this game apart, creating an experience that stays with you long after you've turned off your console. There's a reason why this is so highly rated by many fans of the horror genre, and if you're a fan of horror games, then definitely give this one a go. Before we dive back into these awesome games, a quick thank you for making this one of the fastest growing Xbox communities here on YouTube. Right now, 84% of you aren't subscribed, and we'd love to get that down to at least 80%. If you're enjoying enjoying the content and want to stay in the loop, hit that subscribe button and join us on this Xbox journey. Thanks again for your continued support, and now let's jump back into the action. Now let's shine a spotlight on some indie titles that bring something fresh and creative to the table. First up is Have a Nice Death. This game is a roguelike with a very unique twist. You play as Death, the overworked CEO of Death Incorporated, who's had enough of his unruly employees. The game's hand-drawn art style is absolutely gorgeous full of so much dark humour and charm that really does set it apart from other roguelikes. What I love about this game is the gameplay loop, it's very fast and fluid and incredibly satisfying. Each time you die, you will come back stronger, learning from your mistakes and mastering the mechanics. The combat is very tight with a variety of weapons and abilities to keep things interesting, and the quirky humour does give it a very unique vibe. If you're into games like Hades or Dead Cells, you're gonna love Have a Nice Death. Next we have Another Crab's Treasure, a game that takes the Souls-like genre and gives it a quirky underwater twist. You will play as a crab in a beautifully detailed ocean world, where your goal is to scavenge for trash to use as armour, whilst also battling other crabs and sea creatures. What I love about this game is how it balances challenging combat with a playful sense of humour. The underwater world is not just a backdrop, but a living, breathing environment filled with danger and charm. The combat is tough but fair, and the creative use of trash as armour adds a layer of strategy that keeps you on your toes. It's a refreshing take on the genre that's both approachable for newcomers and satisfying for seasoned players looking for something different. For those who prefer a more narrative-driven experience, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons is an absolute must-play. This indie gem tells the heart-wrenching story of two brothers on a quest to save their ailing father. The game's unique control scheme, where you control each brother with one of the thumbsticks, really adds a layer of depth to both the gameplay and the story. It's a short game, but it is really packed with emotional moments that really will resonate with you long after you've finished. The bond between the brothers is at the heart of this game, and you will guide them through a series of beautifully designed puzzles and environments, and you'll find yourself so deeply invested in their journey. It's a game that doesn't just tell a story, but it makes you feel it. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is one of those games that just feels like it was made for Star Wars fans. As a sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, it continues the journey of Cal Kestis, a young Jedi on the run from the Empire. What I love about this game is how it builds on every everything that the first game did well and just takes it to a whole new level. The combat is deeper and more refined with a greater variety of abilities and lightsaber styles to master. The world is much more expansive with lots of secrets to uncover and a story that dives deeper into the Star Wars lore we know and love. Whether you're just wanting to deflect blaster bolts with your lightsaber or explore every single ancient Jedi temple, this game is an absolute treat. If you're looking for something with a bit more bite, then check out The Quarry. This horror adventure game is like stepping into a classic slasher movie where your choices determine who really survives the night. What sets this game apart is a branching narrative. Every decision you make can lead to different outcomes, and no two playthroughs in this game are the same. The characters, whilst fitting the typical horror trope, are brought to life with strong performances and a script that's surprisingly engaging. If you're a fan of games like Until Dawn, where the tension builds as you navigate life or death situation, The Quarry is right up your alley. Just definitely be prepared for some incredibly tough choices. Now, let's dive into the Callisto Protocol. Picture this, you're trapped in a bleak, abandoned space prison on Jupiter's moon, Callisto, and things have gone horribly wrong. As Jacob Lee, you're fighting for survival against horrific creatures that will really make your skin cruel. The game excels in creating a sense of dread with its claustrophobic environments and beautifully intense combat. The combination of relentless action and gripping narrative makes it an absolute must play if you're a fan of survival horror. I was really on the edge of my seat the entire time and the chilling atmosphere really drew me into this game on launch. It's the kind of game that keeps you glued to the screen, holding your breath with every step that you take. Moving on to something with a bit of a different flavour. Octopath Traveller brings a fresh take on 
on the JRPG genre. The game's 2D HD art style is simply gorgeous, and when you think of it as a classic pixel art but with a modern twist that makes the world feel both nostalgic and new. You get to choose from 8 unique characters, each with their own unique backstory and special abilities. What really hooked me in with this game is how you can explore each character's journey individually or see how their stories intertwine. The combat is turn based but has a depth that keeps you strategizing and experimenting. Plus the orchestral soundtrack is a treat for the ears. It's one of those games where every character's story is worth experiencing and the beautiful art and music make it an unforgettable experience. Now let's get our hands dirty with Space Engineers. Ever dreamed of designing your own spacecraft or space station? This game is a playground for that creativity. The vast sandbox universe gives you the freedom to build and customise to your heart's content. I had an absolute blast playing this game, constructing and elaborating space stations and exploring the cosmos with my own creations. The engineering challenges and building mechanics are incredibly satisfying, and whether you're just a tech enthusiast or love tinkering, Space Engineers offers endless possibilities and a sense of accomplishment every single time. Next up is Dead Island 2, a game that really cranks up the chaos and fun in a zombie infested Los Angeles. The over the top action and dark humour are really what make this game stand out. You'll find yourself smashing through hordes of zombies with creatively brutal weapons and enjoying the open world exploration. The co-op mode is perfect for teaming up with friends and creating mayhem together and the whole city is just teeming with undead and opportunities for chaos. There's a massive variety of weapons and zombie types that really do keep the action fresh and exciting. It really is a wild ride that's perfect for when you need some zombie slaying fun. Now, if you're in the mood for something a bit more historically authentic, then you need to check out Hell Let Loose. This online World War II shooter is all about realism and teamwork. The large scale battles and tactical gameplay make every match feel like a true war experience. The level of detail in the environments and the accuracy of the historical elements are incredibly impressive. I do really love how every battle requires strategic planning and collaboration with your teammates, and there's a reason why I recommend this on so many lists on this channel. If you enjoy Enjoy shooters that really emphasize realism and teamwork with your friendlies, Hell Let Loose is a must try. It's very intense, immersive and offers a unique take on wartime combat. Switching gears to something a bit more fast paced, let's talk about Rollerdrome. This game is a blast from the future where roller skating meets combat. The high energy gameplay and stylish design definitely make it stand out and you'll have to master both skating and shooting as you navigate vibrant arenas filled with action. The blend of sports and combat really does create a dynamic experience that's both challenging but incredibly fun. It's a game that does keep you moving and thinking on your feet and the vibrant dystopian world is just a visual treat. If you're up for a high octane challenge, Rollerdrome is definitely worth checking out and it's certainly a hidden gem on Xbox Game Pass. Up next, you will have to immerse yourself in the eerie world of The Last Case of Benedict Fox. This dark Metroidvania game takes you through a hauntingly beautiful mansion filled with so many secrets and mysteries. You will play as Benedict Fox, a detective exploring a mansion with a dark past, and you'll encounter intricate puzzles and atmospheric environments. The game's deep lore and challenging gameplay make it a standout title in the genre, and it makes it a standout title as well on Xbox Game Pass. I was really captivated by the detailed environments in this game, and the sense of mystery that permeates every corner of the game is fantastic. If you love exploration and solving complex puzzles, this game will definitely keep you hooked. Let's dive into Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. This JRPG is just a delightful journey filled with so much charm and wonder. With its enchanting story, beautiful art style and engaging combat, it's a magical adventure from start to finish. This game follows Oliver on his quest to save his mother and restore balance to a fantastical world, where you'll also experience a heartwarming tale that's beautifully told. The game's art inspired by Studio Ghibli adds a layer of magic to the experience that we haven't seen before. If you're a fan of fantasy and enjoy a well-crafted RPG, Nino Kuni is a must-play for any Xbox Game Pass subscriber. And finally, we've got Diablo 4, the latest installment in the legendary action RPG series. Diablo 4 brings back the dark gothic atmosphere that really made the earlier games so iconic, but this time with a vast open world and modern touches that really do make it feel fresh. 
whether you're exploring the eerie landscapes, customizing your character's skills and gear, or battling endless hordes of demons, this game is just an absolute blast. The world is huge with plenty of secrets to uncover, and the multiplayer aspect lets you team up with friends or face off against other players in epic battles. Diablo 4 is the kind of game you can easily sink hundreds of hours into, and with regular updates and new content on the horizon, it's a game that will keep you coming back, certainly for more. What game do you like to look up on this list? Is there any hidden game you are now interested in? Let me know in the comments below. Do smash that like button and subscribe for more Xbox content every single day. It's free to do so and it greatly helps out the channel as we continue to bring you as much awesome content around Xbox as possible. Whilst you're here, why don't you check out our most recent video covering the huge sale currently going on in the Xbox store. I promise you, your backlog will be getting a lot larger after watching it.